guys, it's Corey here, and yes, I am back with a video. I'm so thankful for having the time in order to film the video. Um, life has been hectic, but um, I did film an update video, and I will link it to this video. Um, I'll probably add it somewhere in here somewhere as well. It's in the description bar. Take a look at that if you have any questions about where I've been. Um, you will find out there. Um, if this is if this frame is moving a lot, I am using my um, laptop, and it's on like on my bed, on top of a stool. So it's pretty um, jerry rigged up. So hopefully it will stay for us during this video. And if like I said before, if you see the bouncing, just pretend like you don't see it. Just ignore it. Um, this is going to be a high end haul. Um, I may split this up because I have a, it's a collective haul. I have a lot of stuff here and I want to make sure I'm able to not make this too long of a video for you because um, I want to be able to give some details on them. Um, a lot of stuff I have here I've already used and give you swatches of everything like that too. So um, I may like split it up, um, like do, I don't know how I'm splitting it up yet. I don't know yet but I want to split it up so it's not too crazy. So. Let's get started with this haul. I take off my I take off my sweater because I was getting hot and I just came back from teaching, so I felt like really teachery with my sweater on. Um, even though it's like a see-through shirt, even though you can't really tell, but it's I just felt kind of like teachery, so I wanted to take the sweater off for a minute. Okay, so I guess I'll start off first with um, palettes that I have gotten over the last. Um, this is like over the last couple of months, this stuff has been obtained. Um, so yeah, the first one um, is the something that everyone on YouTube pretty much has, the Naked Basics palette. Um, I had got an email about this um, via Urban Decay um, that they had a new palette coming out. Um, it was a matte palette, well pretty much matte, there is one shade that has some not very shimmery like most of Urban Decay shadows, but it has some sheen to it, um, and it's like only $27. So I know pretty much everyone has seen um, this palette. I still not going to swatches of this. Probably, I don't know how many swatches I'll actually do with the eyeshadow stuff, because a lot of people have seen those. Um, they're pretty common here on YouTube, so. But here's the Naked Basics palette. So there's six shades here, and this shade right here, Venus, is the one that has like a little bit of shimmer to it. Hopefully we'll see it pretty well. I have like the window open getting some natural light in, so hopefully it's across well. But I like using this. It's very basic. I actually wore this today um, because every it's just really easy to put on. I don't have to think about the colors at all or how well everything's going to mix together and blend. Um, it's just really easy to just to throw on, have in your purse. Really versatile. You can smoke it out to make, you know, with the darker brown, almost black color. There's a lot of variety and a lot of options. So I really have been loving that. The next palette I received is something that came out that finally got my hands on. Um, it's the Lorac Pro Palette. Everyone has been dying about this palette. Um, it's 16 shades. We have 8 at the top. We have 8 um, on top row that are matte and then the bottom 8 are shimmer. And I have used this like four or five times. Um, I, I've been really trying to work on rotating my makeup out so I'm able to use as many pots as possible that I have because I've been collecting a lot. Um, I may do an updated makeup collection but I haven't got my storage down 100% of where I want it to be so I don't want to use something that's not going to be where I want it to be as far as look wise. But anyway back to the palette. Um, this is a really good palette. Very versatile. Definitely um, I've done a lot of these like just just over the lid if I'm going to work I don't want it to, like a big work look I'll put like maybe just garnet on my lid and just wear that and go Let's see it's a really pretty um, like reddish brown color more brown but has a little highlights of red in there a little bit of shimmer to it really really pretty color really easy and I love Lorac shadows anyway because a lot of people think they're kind of chalky. However, I mean, they, they can be chalky, some of them, but I just feel like they're really smooth and buttery on my eyes. They're very pigmented when I put them on. Um, I haven't had really any trouble with as far as a lot of fallout at all, but 
I have changed my routine with makeup as I put my foundation on last. Well, after my eye makeup is done, then I, then I put my foundation on. Um, so that's been really working out for me. But I definitely recommend this palette. Um, it was $42, which is cheaper than any of the Naked palettes at all. And um, there's so many colors in here, 16 shades, versatile, you all matte, all shimmer, a mixture. You really get an option, a lot of options with this. The next palette I got is also another big favorite, which I didn't know if, how, how much I really wanted, wanted it until I started watching um, on YouTube different videos and tutorials using this. I'm like, I really think I want this palette. But it's the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. This is not that new. This has been out for a while. Um, so people, a lot of people have done tutorials with this and swatches and things like that. But this one, you get 10 shades and you get a full size Urban Decay um, 24 7 Glide On Pencil and Perversion, which I love that. So actually, I'm actually glad I got this because I have my Perversion. Um, I just had, I got the, the liner by itself, and I can take this out, and um, I stopped using it for a little, little bit because I didn't want to use it all up, because it's like $18, and that's a lot, so um, you get a full-size perversion, and then here are all the shades, and the good thing about this is that it can be worn, um, you can do a really dramatic smoky look with it, as well as a regular toned down day-to-day -day smoky, um, so that's really really versatile palette I feel. I think that my style of makeup is starting to change a little bit. I mean when I'm at school or teaching I try to have a little bit more reserved makeup but now because I work um, at, well you see it in my update, I think I say it in my update, that I work at Clinique um, and um, being in the makeup you have to wear a lot of makeup every day so um, I get to experiment with different looks that I you know maybe wouldn't have done any other time. So that's why this like really intrigued me after watching a lot of different tutorials. It's something that I would never have bought prior to my job because I didn't feel like I had a place I could wear this, but now that I can. And the colors are so pigmented. I really love um, Backdoor, which is dark brown, um, as well as Mushroom, with like a taupey purple color, and Barless. And these are so smooth as well. I love these. So that is the smoked palette and if anything you want further reviews or if you want um, tutorials with some looks that I have done um, using these palettes like a, I can do like a two-way tutorial like a toned down look using the palette and then they would maybe wear out if I was going out clubbing or if I'm at work and I have to put a little bit more makeup on if I'm especially if I'm working a longer shift um, I could definitely do that let me know in the comment section um, the last palette, yeah, last palette I have is also from Urban Decay. I got Urban Decay. Um, it's the uh, Oz the Great and Powerful, and this is the Theodora palette. And it has a huge, huge mirror, but you get six shadows, but it really feels like um, eight shadows because two of these are split. I have not used this palette yet because I just... I keep gravitating towards other things, um, and I don't know. I, I keep gravitating towards different palettes to try different looks. And buying this, I'm glad I bought it because I wanted it, but I wasn't like 100% sold on it when I got it. Because um, it's more like neutrals I can do. I have lots of colors like this, but I think I just want one to collect. I like the aspect of. Um, these pots are able to come out and I can switch them out with something else if I got more Urban Decay shadows. And then I got 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This mirror is huge. I like the packaging and plus Mila Kunis, which I love. That's like, I just love her. Um, is Theodora in the movie. So that's another reason why I got it. So my reasons aren't as strong as um, my other ones. However, I got it anyway. Oh, I have one more palette to get. I totally forgot about this one. Let me can't. I, I really want this. I went back. It wasn't there. I was so hurt. And then I saw this palette, so I picked it up. I wasn't completely sold on getting this when I saw, like, when I was getting the emails from Urban K about this. But then seeing in the store, 
it looks like a neutral palette that I could wear and use and you know a nice hard case that was not wasn't gonna break on me or anything like that or not get really dirty so that's why I got this I couldn't get this but then they had a hot look for way cheaper so I was glad I got that I just got this in last week so if you haven't seen this this is like a candy box this part right here is a magnetic strap and then it just opens up there's like boxes of candy chocolate bars in here and each bar is something different like this one is called Ooh La La Vanilla and they're all nude eyeshadows and then they have the mesmerizing dark chocolate and these are all cream eyeliners And then we have Caramel Love Affair, which is golden eyeshadow, and these all have shimmer to them. So they can all mix and match, but I like the fact that it's a variety of different colors. Um, and that's a four, because this is a four exclusive. It was $59 on Hollywood. I think I got it for like $28. So that's definitely a deal that I was all for. Um, then we have Tantalizing Cocoa, and these are all like bronzy. I mean, great for summer. I love wearing like bronzy colors and more. I like I like wearing more metallic colors during the summer versus like fall. And other people wear them. I like them during the summer. Um. Then there's the Blackberry Truffle Seduction, and this is the Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. Really pretty. And I, like I said before about the Pro Palette, I just love the rock shadows. They're just so buttery. I kind of stumbled upon the rock from Hot Look when I had ordered like their faux rock palette it had like four shades and a blush and they were just so pigmented I couldn't even believe it so I had to you know I've been kind of on the bandwagon with that on um, the last little palette in here it's called indulge in berry kisses it's a cheek and lip um, tint look at that pink that's so bright I have not swatched I'm like I don't know why I've not swatched any of these I'm afraid to touch them I think I just really wanted this really bad and I thought it was going to be a lost cause and ended up not being a lost cause. So thank you Hot Look. Okay, um, next I'll go into um, cheek items that I got and then I'll cut that video, I'll be done and then next video, part two of this will be the eyes and lips. So, oh, eyes, lips, and face. I'm sorry, eyes, lips, and face. Even the palettes were for eyes, but these are like individual eyeshadows I got from MAC, so clarify that. Okay, for cheek products, I got, I went kind of crazy on the cheek products. For whatever reason, I just really, I just really needed them, and... That is the name of that. I've tried some things, some products I've never tried before too, which is something I've been trying to do is, you know, bring out of my comfort zone of getting the same um, brands. Even though I like those brands, I want to try something else that I maybe not have tried or I've heard people talk about on YouTube that I maybe want to give it a try. So, if I try to do not everything, but I tried. Um, the first one is from MAC. It's called Ambering Rose. Hopefully it comes up the right way when I upload this. Here it is here. It's like a nice like orangey bronze look to it. Um, I really like this. I think it would be really good on my skin tone. Um, and I think it, it could really work for any skin tone because it is pigmented enough, but you can sheer it out enough that it's not too heavy. It is a sheer tone shimmer blush, so it has a little bit more shimmer to it. And not such a heavy color so if you were you know had more of a fair skin tone and you were afraid of a little bit of color you were start to get into pinks this would be a nice color probably more for a fall look for you for me I could pretty much wear this any time of year and more like that if I wear it spring and summer because it has more of an orangey look um, and be a little bit more pigmented or less pigmented on me versus someone with fair skin tone um, another MAC blush I got is Gingerly. This has been talked about forever on Ma on Mac, on YouTube. Since I finally wanted to get it, I wasn't sure if this was gonna work on my skin tone, but after putting it on, it has like more of like 
looks like more of an orange to me if I wear it right here um but has the, not like orange like oh my gosh she's wearing blush but very natural orange look to it, if that makes sense okay another MAC blush I got um it's a cream blend, blend brush so it's a cream blush and it's called tea petal and I wore this like once I wore it to work and like I, when I went to MAC I saw it I liked it but I thought it was like lighter than what it is seems like even on my I don't know maybe it's just me when I put it on but um it's a really pretty color but that was a little bit lighter than this I still like the color I just thought it was something different that's tea petal and then the last yeah the last MAC blush you're welcome is um it's a mineralized blush called Alpine Bronze and this is from I forgot which I think it's the strong collection that came out earlier this year I can't remember but I really this is really pretty I got this blush because of um, Jaclyn Hill one I actually been obsessed with watching her videos and it's like a nice little and she where she was wearing this blush I'm like oh, I love that I have to get that and when she I wasn't sure if it was still gonna be in stock for that you know cause the collection had been out for a little bit but I absolutely love love this color it's so nice I don't have to worry about doing a contour if I don't want to I just put it on my cheeks and go about my day and I don't, I don't feel like it's too shimmery at all um, even though it's a mineralized and a lot of times mineralized ones have more um, shimmer to it I don't feel like it's too much okay um, and then I have a Tarte blush in exposed and this is another one I didn't think I'd be able to get away with. I thought it might be too, wouldn't, it just like match my skin tone. But after looking at it, it has like a little rosiness to it. Um, so I've been loving that very, let's see, it's very natural looking. It has a little bit of, a hint of like a rosy pinkness to it, which I really like that aspect of it. Okay, and then I got um, a Smashbox, which... I don't only have from Smashbox is I got two like sample size primers and that's it. I don't have anything else Smashbox. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, this blush is called Warm Glow. It's one of their Halo Longwear blushes. This might get messy. This is the kind. The only part about it is that it, it can get messy because it has um, right here. So here's like a sharpener. Sorry, can you see my face? It's like a sharpener, so you turn the dial to get out more products. So it's not it, so it's like a loose powder, um, a loose blush. So, um, but you get to determine how much blush comes out. But one turn, a lot comes out, and so I did that, and I wasn't aware how much was gonna come out. So it's like falling over my pants. Great, but the color is really, really pretty. Hold on. Okay, sorry. It's like falling over. Okay, so this right here, my middle finger, it's um, warm glow, like I said. This is really pretty. It's like a nice rose pink color. It'll look very natural on my skin tone, I feel. It's like all over my dress pants. My work pants. Okay. That was a fail. FYI, people didn't realize that. Okay, next one I got, next blush I got, it's called um, the Fresh Bloom All, All Over Color from Clinique. And the color I got is an Almond Blossom Blend. You're not going to be able to see that. Yeah, not really. Um, and they have two colors of this. They have this one, and then they have a um, Peony Blossom. So has more of a pink to it, but it has like more of a bronze look to it, and I liked the way this one looked. I mean, they're both really pretty, but I like this one a little bit better. It is very, again, another really, really natural look, if you can see, you really can't. It's another really natural um, blush color. I've been really feeling the naturals. I mean, I like the color too, but I've been really into um, natural blushes lately. Um, then I got a blush from Estee Lauder. It's called Wild 
Sunset Shimmer. I'm not going to show the back of this one because it's going to blind you. It's like a gold um, packaging. So, see, that's not going to work out well. I'm trying to show you the name. But, um, I haven't worn this blush yet. So, here is the color. That's going to be really pretty for, um, for summer. It's really pigmented. It's gonna really look good against my skin tone. It's right there. Um, it's a little darker. There we go. And the, the, I've never worn Estee Lauder's um, blush before, but it's very like buttery, silky feeling really to the touch. So I like that aspect of it. Okay, two more things and then we'll cut the video. Um, I got a blush from Chanel. I know, it's crazy. And this color is called In Love. I think it's part of their I think it's part of their spring collection, I assume. But here's the color right here. It's coming up really pale in here, but it's more like a, a really pretty peach with some gold shimmer in it. Really, really pretty. And that's my finger. It's really, again, it's going to look, I mean, it's going to look really natural looking. Um, but when I had gone to Chanel to pick up, I picked up some foundation from there, which you'll see in the other video. Um, she put this on me, and um, I'm like, hmm, I don't know. Because I had already, sorry, spending a lot of money. So I was like, I'll just. I'll be fine without it. I'll just wait. And I couldn't wait. I couldn't do it. So I went back the same time I got that Theodora palette. I got this. Um, also to a trip to Chanel, I got the Soleil, de, Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, I really love this. And the lady at Chanel said that this works really well for um, women of color because it's it's it gets too heavy if not used correctly for f women with more fair skin. This shows up on me like more of just like a really a beautiful sun-kissed glow. Um, it's not like a heavy color and it's a cream so it stays really well. And it just basically just a glow on my face. Which I like that looks really natural looking, especially because it's back it's a cream. So, um, okay that ends this part of the haul for my cheek products and palettes that I've gotten over the last um, couple months. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I can cut this video down so it's not too crazy long for you guys. Alright, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.